fish on. Oh, there we go. Another bite. Oh, check that reel out. Bassmaster's getting it done today. So without a doubt, one of the best surf fishing days I've had in a long time. I took some of them home and made some tasty fish tacos with them. This particular fish taco recipe is one of my favorites because it tastes amazing and is so easy to prepare. So on this day, I was out on the surf again during high tide throwing the Castmaster. If you're unfamiliar with the Castmaster, it's known for its ability to be thrown a good distance, hence its name. And it's also known for its ability to mimic bait fish when it flutters through the water. The shape of it really lends itself to that action when it's being retrieved. So if you look at it, it doesn't look like anything spectacular, especially when you compare it to a lot of lures that are on the market, which strive for that realistic look. I mean, as far as detail is concerned, it's the exact opposite. For the Castmaster, it's just about the overall shine of this metal and the action you get from this particular shape. Fish on. Oh, we got something here. But that was a heavy hit. Oh. Chunk yellowfin croaker. Big one. Nice big yellowfin croaker here, guys. Check this guy out. Really thick. Here we go, another bite. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's another one. It's another nice one. Big bite, guys. Nice one. Oh, check that reel out. Bassmaster's getting it done today. Big, big croaker, guys. Bigger than the first one. Check this out, guys. Another one. Big croaker. Even bigger than the first one we caught on the Castmaster. The bite's on right now. Got him on the assist hook increase your hookup ratio when you're using cast masters or any type of spoons or jigs, add an assist hook. You basically attach the assist hook at the front of the lure and it'll help you connect with any bites that the treble hook in the back may have missed. Just for the hell of it, I decided to change things up and I switched to a jig bar, just to see if that would change anything. Another croaker. Another one. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. I hooked up again, guys. We found a school of them. We're hooking up almost every other cast. Oh, this time we got a perch. A big birch. That is a nice one. I'm going to keep this one. Everything's biting today, guys. We got this big surf birch here. Also caught on a jig. We use the jig para right now. Got him on the assist hook. All right, we're back home and ready to fillet. For this video, I'm just going to quickly show the flaying of one of the yellowfin croakers.
So I'm gonna prepare the fish so it's super crunchy and we're gonna do that using panko breadcrumbs. A couple of things I like about panko breadcrumbs. First is obviously the crunch, which is so easy to get. You don't need to worry about getting the right mix of flour to cornstarch to baking powder, none of that. Just dip in these breadcrumbs and that's it. You just fry it and it's so easy. The other thing I like about panko is its ability to get crunchy fast in hot oil. So when you're using a traditional flour batter, either dry or wet, that's going to require more cooking time in order for it to get crunchy. But with panko, you can fry it for just a minute if you want to get it golden brown and be done. That's perfect for fish that are prone to drying out quick. Yellowfin croaker can be slightly dry when cooked too long. Not as dramatic as halibut, but just a little dry when cooked too long. So that's why I'm going with panko. So again, this is a really easy recipe. Aside from the fish, there are just a few fixings that we have to prepare. First, we're gonna chop up some cabbage and set that aside. Next, we're gonna cut some limes into wedges. I love mashed avocado in my fish tacos, not only for the taste, but it also anchors everything in place when you're eating. And all I'm adding to this is a little lime and salt, and then I'm gonna give it a good mash. Not a true guacamole, but close to it. Then we're gonna dice up some cilantro and onion. Now I'm gonna heat up our canola oil to about 300 degrees. So earlier today I sliced our yellowfin croaker into pieces and soaked them in a mixture of milk and lemon for three hours, which will give the fish a cleaner flavor. Just gonna take them out now and season it with salt and paprika on both sides. Then I'm gonna put that straight into the panko. I like to get each piece and kind of gently press the panko into the fish, which helps give it a thicker, crunchy layer. Our oil is up to tep now, so we can start cooking our fish. So as I said earlier, it doesn't take very long to fry when you're using panko breadcrumbs. Just turn the fish over when you start to see the sides turning golden. So while that's frying, I'm gonna heat up some corn tortillas over the stove. That'll give it a nice smoky charred flavor. All right, the fish is looking nice and golden brown, so it's time to take them out. And now it's time to plate everything up. All right guys, here is our yellowfin croaker panko crusted tacos. These look really good. I'm so hungry right now, I'm gonna dig in right now. Mm. What do you think? Really good. Yeah. Using panko breadcrumbs to me feels like cheating. It's just, it's so easy to get that crunch as opposed to creating a flour batter and frying it for a long time and getting all the ingredients right. You know, the last video we did, we did like a fried chicken type batter, you know, with flour and all of that stuff. And this is the panko uh, breadcrumbs. Which one do you like better? I think I like the panko breadcrumbs more. They're way more crunchy than the last one. So yellowfin croaker is actually the first fish that I ever caught from the surf. That was such an exciting moment for me because we'd gone to the pier a lot and we caught a lot of mackerel and sardines and stuff like that. And I felt like, you know, we'd graduated from that. Now it's time to move on to the new thing, which is surf fishing, which I've done. And I basically have done that every weekend since that time. Yellowfin croaker is a solid fish, not only in terms of eating, but fishing as well. It's so much fun. They fight a lot harder than surf perch do. And so they make for a really fun day out there fishing. So one thing that's been consuming me this year has been I haven't gotten a halibut yet this year, and last year I caught three legal halibuts. So I think I got to target halibut a little bit more aggressively than I have this year. 
Uh, I just got a new kayak, so I'm hoping to take you guys on that adventure for the maiden voyage very soon. Hopefully in the next two or three videos you'll see that. All right, guys, thanks for joining us again. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. You helped me hit the 200 subscriber milestone, which is a big deal for me, not a big deal for a lot of YouTubers out there that are huge, but for me, it was a big deal. So thank you again, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.